Hot life. Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? How you doing? So, um, just wanted to come over here on the Facebook Live, um, my Facebook Live account. Uh, this is Eric for Faster Humans. So, I just wanted to come over and give you an update of my, um, basically. I will say my 72 hour fast, um, I just wanted to kind of sort of give you an idea of what it's like uh, going through this uh, process. So um, I wanted to be able to kind of sort of uh, 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 have like a Q and A if anyone to jump in or anyone to jump, jump in into this live broadcast. So uh, how do I feel? In 72 hours is gonna be over by after two o'clock. Two o'clock will be uh, the the time frame where I'm going to uh, basically uh, you know break my fast and so you know it's a lot of questions I, I did had a question the other day when I was doing a live broadcast uh, how do I go about these 72 hours in mental on the mindset right and if you have watched my Instagram or if you check out the uh, previous posts that I have uh, talk about the uh, the main main thing about How do I uh, manage, you know, actually do this <laughs> while I'm cooking? And trust me, I will admit I wanted to have a bite of a chicken wing. And it was one of those things that you're, you're in your mind. You're thinking you're out of your mind, right? Why would you fast for 72 hours when you're cooking? But that's, you know, that's being a parent, that's being a, 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 a you know, a thing that I need to do as a, as a husband and, and so on and so forth. So I know that uh, uh, for anyone who is like, you know, why would you do that? But then there's a lot of um, benefits and a, a lot of things that, you know, that comes along from doing this uh, intermittent fasting, fasting, you know, kind of sort of uh, thing that, that you do, right? And so benefits of... Uh, of reversing uh, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, so on and so forth. So when um, when I first started, you know, the whole intermediate fasting, kind of jumping in and finding out how can I benefit from it. Um, back in 2017, like I, uh, I tell a lot of people, I said, look, man, I was having digestion problems, problems with with uh, letharginess, feeling lethargic, but this it was, it, I'm going deeper and deeper and more that I start understanding the mindset of uh, somebody who is uh, mainly trying to stay healthy, mainly for longevity. Um, there has this, the pros of losing weight, uh, in a, but there's more than just losing weight. So for anyone who, who is, is, has tried intermittent fasting or has done a 24-hour fast is that the main focus is, you know, be, be able to become self-efficient. And I never crossed my mind, you know, like, oh, do I need to eat the breakfast, the snacks, and lunch, and all these things that's being thought to us or actually being kind of sold, sold to us in regards of uh, kicking your metabolism, right? So we, we, were, we were told that, hey, you need to... You need to eat five to six meals per day to kick in your metabolism. In reality, was not necessarily true. Um, your metabolism only kicks in just by this much. Not this much. Now, um, now I'm not a bodybuilder. You know, you, I'm pretty sure you're, you know this. I like to lift weights. Um, you know, I, I worked out at home. And so the whole idea and mindset of, of you losing muscle mass is impossible it it is uh, a a place where your body will need an amounts of excess amount of body fat so the the amount of workouts that you would do i mean you normally work out maybe about an hour 30 minutes an hour and 30 minutes that all depends on your schedule and how much can you actually uh train right so you do have to eat and so one of the things that for anyone who maybe staying at home and trying to, uh, you're gaining weight right now, the, the, the amount of, 
uh, activity you're going to do at home is very minimal. And so I, I'm kind of sort of testing myself out because, you know, having been working and, and I stay home, but I try to stay active. I try to stay making sure, you know, that I, that I, that I in, put in place my workouts and, and I do what I need to do. So what I tell somebody who is not necessarily active right now is you have to be able to utilize uh, some way in another, some type of activity. Uh, you want to stay busy. You want to try to figure it out, learn something new, uh, you know, find passion or something that you haven't done in a while. So all those little things comes along from the activities you can do, but at the same time, um, how do you benefit from not having any particular meals for three days? Well, um, to begin with, you know, it's all about mindset. It's all about trying something new, learning something new. Every single day, you're going to learn something new about yourself. And so um, when you are being consistent, then you are going to see the results that you are, are looking for, especially on an intermediate fasting process. Uh, when I first started intermediate fasting, you know, the, in my mind was like, I'm going to, to lose, I'm going to lose muscle mass. Uh, but then I started noticing a huge difference on my energy. Um, I was still, I was still drinking the coffee with, <laughs> with cream is still at the beginning of the intermediate fasting lifestyle. So, um, so a clean fast, for anyone out there is basically water. Uh, they implement that or it is okay to have some black coffee, some mineral water, um, some uh, apple cider vinegar with your water. So uh, for anyone who who is thinking about doing intermittent fasting or fasting, 72 hour fast should not be something that you should jump in into it cold turkey, I would not suggest it. Uh, for, for the people that are, um, for the people that are struggling with losing weight, uh, the intermediate fasting process is the much more easier way to lose weight, uh, because it has tremendous amount of, amounts of results. Uh, for somebody who hasn't worked out, for somebody who has a very, very crazy diet your your nutrition intake is not as good my biggest suggestion is focus on your schedule first because one of the things is that you know a lot of people say i want to work out yes perfect workout but if you haven't worked out in a while start walking start swimming if you have a pool go in a bike ride if you can so by giving you these little tips that is going to help you out get into that 72 hour eventually is going to happen because you know a lot of people ask how's your mindset how is it that you you get there right but it took time it didn't it, it's been three years since i started intermittent fasting back in 2017 november 2017 to be exact um i needed to find out a new path a new way to be able to be more uh, more self-efficient as far as uh do i need to be eating five to six meals per day especially you know, when we're talking about breakfast, snacks, lunch, snacks, and, and that's something that I was really, really struggling with uh, at some point because, you know, I worked in, I used to work in a restaurant uh, and, uh, and the struggle was real. So for somebody who is brand new to this, I'll suggest, my suggestion is first is your sleep. How's your sleep patterns? Are you sleeping good? Are you, are you getting those seven to eight hours of sleep if not then that's your sign right there when you're sleeping only about five hours and or oh, maybe four you're waking up in the middle of the night that's a sign right there that your sleep pattern is is disrupted by your eating habits uh there is a, a huge study research done and if you want to you know just google it and what is the benefits of sleeping your seven to eight hours and what the benefits are, are a huge, tremendous amount of what it comes down to losing weight. Why it, you should be sleeping seven to eight hours because it helps you maintain. Um, it's a hot, lot to do with your circadian rhythm. It's the natural clock that, 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 that prevents you from overeating at night, but there's a lot of people that has 
accustom their bodies to eat late at night. So this is one of the things that definitely can have an effect on your body when you sleep, uh, when you eat late, and eventually it's going to have a, uh, a toll on your body eventually. So um, one of the things that, too, that, that comes down to, um, to many people, and it's going to sound crazy for so many people, is going to be eating breakfast. For somebody who is 44 years old, who is being um, sort of kind of preaching about eating breakfast for the past probably uh, 10, you know, almost like seven years, I'll be preaching about, yeah, breakfast is the most, the most important meal of the day. I would say the most important meal of the day is the, ten, the time you break your fast. I think it's the most important meal of the day. We live in a very high-speed society. Well, not necessarily right now, right? Because of the pandemic and all the stuff that's going on. But the thing about you having uh, a a thing that um, that you have to have breakfast when you're not even hungry, uh, I think many times myself, I had, I think I had sabotaged so much hard work uh, and train, especially on my training programs and everything that I've been doing. Um, I had sabotaged so many times, but I didn't know. I didn't know what was happening to my body when I was having these pre-workouts in the morning and I was, you know, spiking my insulin to the roof thinking that that was the right thing to do, especially because I had a pre-workout pre -workout and trying to do it naturally. Naturally is water, black coffee, green tea, uh, some apple cider vinegar if you want to have some apple cider vinegar in the beginning of the day and to be self-efficient. So if you are overweight and you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to figure it out, oh my God, how did I gain 60, 70, 80 pounds, 100 pounds? is because the habits that you have for the past, you name it, you're, it's being, it's being you know, keeping you from living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, so how do you know that your your, your energy is lacking? Which when you're, it is one o'clock, two o'clock, and you feel tired, you feel you know like you're not getting the most out of it. So, uh, my suggestion to anyone, and and for anyone who is uh, watching this right now, is is those the signs to it? You know, um, the signs of you feeling depressed. It, it, just, just the amount of uh, uh, amount of body fat that you have accumulated, so it's not letting you think um, efficiently. You know, so there's so many things that uh, have come into place now that I'm having control of. Now that I'm more, you know, in a faster state. Um, now I'm more of a, of a person who starts thinking more. Um, 10 times of specific things, but now, you know, in much more efficient and efficient way. So my suggestion to anyone who is uh, watching this right now and for anyone who is, it's all about process and taking your time and understanding and knowing the difference between fasting and, 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 and starvation. Starvation, you got no control. And the starvation, some, uh, it's something else more powerful there is uncontrolled like you know on on world war ii right people a lot of people were not in control of it the situation was happening with with the war so people food was not available on world war ii for example just give an idea right and there was concentration camps and there was people you know so people that couldn't find food so those are the things we can step out of our house right now in less than a mile there is a there's a place where you can find food because there's, there's restaurants, there's, there's uh, drive throughs there's everything can, you can imagine is available to us right away. So the, the fact that you can say, I'm starving myself, no, you can't starve yourself because you're in control. So you'll be able to buy something, you can prepare something, you can create something that you'll be able to sit down and eat. So you're kind of, uh, 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 you kind of sort of uh, kind of put him back or kind of sort of holding back of, of a lot of things that you want to put in your body. But one of the things that is damaging to your body 
for eating five to six meals per day, five to six meals per day every single day is your digestion system. So I didn't realize this, but then I was like, hmm. So if I don't see the inflammations outside my body, or if you see that you're gaining weight, that's a sign. But then the inflammation is not happening just on the outside, it's happening on the internal side of your body internally. So imagine somebody, or imagine me weighing another 220 pounds, right? 220 pounds, 80 pounds of the actual weight that I lost. So looking back and saying, wow, so yeah, so there was this, you don't feel it, you don't realize it because you kind of sort of caught up in this kind of cycle and your mindset and so is you addicted to so many things. I was addicted to, um, what was the drink that I, that was like my favorite drink that I used to drink all the time uh, before again, you know, before losing their weight. It was... Um, Ginger ale. I used to be big fan of ginger ale every single time. With my meal, with my meals, I will have ginger ale. Plus the food, it was like you know I've been constantly eating a lot of carbs, a, a lot of fatty foods. But then there is good healthy fats and there's bad fats, right? And so, but the consistency of eating five to six meals per day eventually was gonna have a toll on my body inside, internally, you know. Um, the combination of having good healthy foods has a, even for anybody who's fasting having healthy foods is, is a big plus to create a longevity effect in your body and so there's a lot of pros and cons on fasting but just as, as much as your what i suggest to a lot of people don't change anything yet and just start listening to your body and finding out your schedule what works with your family? Well, it doesn't work with your family. For me, for example, I cannot fast on the weekend because number one, my wife is off work. I, I I'm surrounded with my kids, and I try to make sure that I kind of have a kind of sort of like a normalized kind of 16a um, window of eating. We don't pass seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. 99.9 percent .9 of the time, we don't we don't eat late anymore. Uh, it has in occasions we have a late meal and that's when we get an, on a get together like for example thanksgiving is coming around the corner and so there's things that you are in control there's things you're not in control so you got to remember that kind of stuff because i tell a lot of people hey there's a lot of things you're not going to be in control on <laughs> so uh, just about preparation understanding i don't rush anymore on these whole breakfast snack things anymore I'm kind of sort of much more aware of myself. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have some water. So imagine, imagine you going through this every single, single day. Imagine you doing this again and again and again. And what I tell a lot of people is like, you know, eventually you're going to get caught up with it. You know, it's like, it's like you will, you know, have an effect out of your, Overeating, over eating, over constantly eating late at night, eventually it's going to have a toll on you. I mean, it did for me. I learned so many things about from eating so late. I learned so many things from just having so much, so much unhealthy foods that were not healthy, right? But I don't beat myself to it. I just kind of sort of work towards a better selection, a, a better approach to it. And so um, I always say this. So for selection, a, a approach to it. All right, so I just wanted to so, um, lower the value on this right here. For people that are watching, for people that are, um, you know, checking it out. Brenda Castillo, thank you for watching. Thank you for, Brenda Castillo was before earlier. I'm not so sure if she's still on the, on the live because I needed to check it out who is watching and I don't see the comments. Uh, and so I don't know. So, um, so yeah, so, so basically uh, one of the things that I want to be able to share with this uh, 72 hours is that, you know, even though it's not like never is going to be a person 72 hours of fasting, I have gone through 40 to to 50 hours on through the fasting process 
and I have have to break my fast in order to in order to kind of sort of like hey <laughs> I, I had to break this fast and w there's nothing I can do I mean I'm like I have being transparent about it and being honest about it and like hey it's not gonna happen 72 hours sometimes it's just like you break your fast you know sometimes you have you know your partner in crime telling you hey let's go eat some chicken wings and I'm mean, like okay wh what the hell you know, so it, it can happen. It happened to the best of us. And so um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, uh, uh, you know, uh, share this with you because I think that give you know, a little bit of tips and, and ideas and stuff like that, that is, it can help you, you know, in the long term, because a lot of things we're thinking, oh, we need to exercise. Yes. Exercise is an enhancement towards your goal. So when you're enhancing that, that process where you're working out, you're exercising, you're doing, you're sweating, and then, so you want to enhance that process of ketosis, right? So the, of autophagy, why is it that you're getting the most out of it, out of that is because you're seeing the results of you losing what you feel energetic, you're sleeping those seven to eight hours, you, you're, you're, you're feel 10 times better, you're, you have that mental clarity. So those are the benefits just by intermittent fasting that's not even by 72 hours for me 72 hours is longevity is hga human growth hormone um what else is heavy ketosis so there is other benefits besides the benefits that you will get with intermittent fasting because they're all related they're all connected they're all everything is going to be this thing that it is that is necessary for anyone who's trying to help stay healthy. That now we're not talking about working out right now. We're talking about just the simple fact that you just have a crazy life. You try to accommodate your your lifestyle to become more like okay. You know what? I, I work crazy hours. How can I be able to maintain trying to reduce my my weight? Because I'm sitting in the office. I'm typing. I'm constantly working. So how do I do that? How do I I, I become more self efficient? And that comes with practice of the intermittent fasting lifestyle. So <clears throat> for anyone who is uh, uh, struggling to, to, to get to those uh, goals, the, uh, the, the main idea, the main goal is to um, create a schedule that works for you. Everybody's schedule is different. Everybody um lifestyle is different so nobody's lifestyle is going to be the same so for for my friends that are watching this i just want you to know that the reason why i share this and the reason why i i i promote um intermittent fasting just to begin your your bet a better lifestyle is because I know for a fact it's going to have great results by you sticking to it. It takes about 30 days to see the results that you're looking for. And so let me share this on. So for those people that are trying to, um, live a healthy lifestyle it's not necessarily exercise but a, a lot to do with the fact that your habits are for many other people are are killing you right so um it takes a time it takes a it takes a place i mean i could share this with you and completely honest about it my habits that i used to think that were so good for me you know 10 years ago 15 years ago 18 years ago that those habits has completely change a lot um if you need therapy go for a therapist because it might help you be able to understand yourself better because you are you know um much more more in control of that because you're uh, seeking help on much more on a much more different level of the mindset because you're trying to uh, cope with so many things and so for me, I, I'm just trying to say, okay, mm, I, what am I, what am I struggling the most as a person in understanding myself better? Because I am finding out myself to 
to work uh, on a different level because we are constantly thinking that we know everything and in reality we don't and so um having the seek of you know a professional you know and or, or or finding out that a profession is helping you out to 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 get to the goals that you want by all means you know th th you're working towards getting better and so that's one of the things you know when i listen to books and people that have uh practiced this for so long and showing the benefits the research you know because you know the, the idea to it is to you know expand your mind and be able to understand what is happening you know if you if you get sick um the percentage of that i saw on on the research is done for people that have cancer is ba it's based 99.9 percent .9 of our nutrition intake 80 percent of these cancers that we have uh in us right now that are uh, they can be reversible right it's based on our nutrition intake it's based on the fact that there are eating patterns and so the fact that i can be able to come out and tell you hey i have changed in my eating patterns from the way i used to approach to me be able to give you a little bit of those ideas of ideas of changing your eating patterns instead of eating five to six meals per day maybe just eat two meals it's a huge difference because i test it out i have put myself into that process where i used to think oh my god if i eat only you know one meal two meals i'm gonna lose muscle mass and but you guys have seen i seen my before and after you have seen the work i'm doing um you notice the difference i help my son uh be able to lose those 80 pounds that he gained when he was just only 15 years old and so and be able to explain to my kid about self-image and about loving yourself first loving uh who you are and so that part of that psychology helps so many in so many levels that's still working on so many things on myself and this process and so i just wanted to tell you that the, the mental clarity is there for 72 hours. It's just the same thing with the mental clarity when you do, do intermittent fasting for 16 hours. It's there. It's just that it takes up time long, a little longer because you're, you're brand new. You're, you're doing 30 days of this intermittent fasting and maybe you're doing a prolonged fasting for 24 hours. And this is the first time you're doing 24 hours, not eating for 24 hours. But the benefit of that cleaning your digestion, the toxicity, the stuff that goes into your gut is tremendously huge for anyone who is trying to get better. Because I know for, for a fact that a lot of people are like, you know, I need to work out. Yes, work out. But, but, but to me, for anyone who takes 10, 20, 30 minutes to work out, go run, do something, it's going to be huge and beneficial. You know, so in the pandemic hit, I said to myself, I need to take out my kid to, to ride his bike. I need to ride a bike, uh, step out of the house and uh, take some vitamin D. Obviously here in Florida is hot, but imagine you doing something tremendously good every single day that's going to be accomplishing in the long term. Think of it. There's no shortcuts to success this only long-term commitment to be able to get there and work on number one, work on the things that you're strong, you like you're strong at, and then move on, start a little by little, start working on the things that you're not good at. And trust me, it helps a lot. Um, I know that, you know, it's, it's a process, you know? And so for anyone who, who is trying to get to a healthy lifestyle, number one, your schedule, seek support, accountability, seek help from a professional, because I, I can tell you, I might be the best on be able to reach out to you and talk to you about things, but me, I, myself, I start realizing maybe I do need some therapy or specific things that because me and my wife we talk about it and and we have 
in regards of building a relationship and regards of of be the best you know husband and, and be the best is to realize that you have defaults uh, as a, any human being we all have defaults and my goal is to be able to tell you i'm the first one to say i uh, me first i'm first to say that i mess up so many times i trust me i have messed up so many times but you know me focusing on those you know all those excuses doesn't help to fix the problem you know so i ain't coming out to you and tell you i'm not the best parent i'm not the best necessarily the best friend probably but then i am speaking out on a way to be able to tell you let me reach out to you and tell you my experience because the only way i'm going to for you to learn is tell you my experience on how that helped me out to not just lose weight because losing weight is part of it but then is the mental health the spiritual health the connection the the building yourself up is so many other aspects to understand our fellow human beings you know so when i do these 72 hours i do it because i know in the long term there's a lot of benef benefits in regards to that of being self-aware of being um uh, much more um clean with my food and and so many other things i uh, trust me i know it sounds crazy <laughs> and then i tell a lot of people it sounds crazy and um and the reason being because i know for a fact that you know that you're you're do you your best and and uh, surround surrounding yourself with people that are doing the same thing you're doing will make the most out of it the, the best out of you because it helps you get to the next goal to the next level to the next thing that you want to do so feeling better uh, about yourself and working yourself towards those goals is going to help you big time so for my friends who watch this live broadcast thank you so much it really means the world to me subscribe click on the follow and the like and uh, you know just, just subscribe to it and it makes a huge difference for this uh, broadcast and for anyone who's watching and listening to this uh, podcast um, it means the world to me because you know the reviews and the, all the stuff makes a huge difference to grow the channel so thank you so much i want i really appreciate it for the people that come in i decided to just be freely and just kind of jumping into it before i start working out because i wanted to kind of sort of uh, give you my two cents my two cents an update of my uh, 72 hour fast it's kind of sort of like a q a nobody has jumped in yet but that's don't worry about it you still can comment you still can put stuff on the bottom of the screen and be able to say ask questions because once again i'm here to give you and give you my 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 update on regards of how intermediate fasting how 72 hour fast has helped me out at least i do it once a month and i like to do it with people but i do have a group for brand new people brand new beginning uh, people that are brand new into intermediate fasting i have a group for you guys in case you're interested please don't hesitate to to be part of it and and and, and comment below and message me in case you're interested so guys have a blessed day take care talk to you guys tomorrow bye bye